Uh, hey guys, it's uh, July 7, and I've actually got a couple of hours uh, free today, and so I thought I'd uh, do, see if I get a little work done on this Camaro. I haven't touched it in months, and it uh, seems like every time I say I'm ready to start working on it, uh, I get sidetracked and uh, never get back to it. Uh, but anyhow, what I've done today is I've gotten the rest of the roof uh, stripped to the metal, and uh, unfortunately the roof is full of uh, you know dings and small dents and whatnot. That are all going to be uh, fixed. The roof's actually, aside from the, the dents and whatnot, rust-wise is in pretty good shape. Right here is actually by far the worst. Uh, it's pitted up. And I had uh, moved down here in 1991 when my wife and I uh, bought our first uh, house in this area. I just had a small garage and, and uh, I had a couple of street rods I was doing and this poor car unfortunately got thrown out in the backyard and <laughs> I had a, uh, a black dog that uh, jumped up on the roof or on the car and climbed up here and chewed a hole in the vinyl top right in here. And then of course over time, uh, you know, with the hole there, water got in there and it started to rust and it's pitted it up pretty good. I don't, uh, I mean, it's still real, you know, sturdy, but it is pitted. And so most likely what I'll end up doing is just, uh, you know, filling it in with a little dirt glass there. I don't, the, the top's really solid, I'm not too concerned. But uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and epoxy prime uh, the top before I do any, any body work to it. I did make a little uh, distilled uh, uh, vinegar and water and it kind of metal treated it earlier and got that on there. So. I think that's my plan as of now, just to go ahead and, and uh, get some primer on that, and then I'll come back to it. Uh, this area back here is pitted as well. Actually, not as bad as that spot on the roof. It just uh, kind of looks bad, but uh, I probably need to go ahead and just get some primer on that as well. And then what I'll do is I'll just, you know, fill it in with a little dirt glass. Like I said, I don't think it's uh, bad enough to work, you know, to constitute changing it. And so I think what my plan is, since I've only got about another hour, hour and a half uh, that I can fiddle with the car, is uh, mix up some primer and get that going. I did mix uh, a little primer, uh, some Matrix MP400, and uh, my plan is, like I say, to shoot that. And uh, anyhow, I'll uh, check back in when I've got a little bit more done. As always, uh, thanks for watching and have a great day. Okay guys, I went ahead and squirted a uh, nice wet coat of uh, epoxy primer. I had enough left, so I went ahead and did the deck lid and got the roof covered uh, so that I can start doing the bodywork on the uh, the roof. With this being a vinyl top car, I just think it's best to go ahead and have uh, a good a good thick coat of epoxy uh, underneath any bodywork uh, in case it ever does uh, get wet again. You know the the Bondo or whatever can't uh, absorb the moisture and start to rust again. Like I say those pits, I tried to, you know, hit them. I don't think it shows up in the video, but uh, anyhow, like I say, I feel a little better knowing that that, that epoxy is underneath uh, any bodywork on the top. It's kind of neat now that the, uh, you know, the deck lid and the quarter and everything is all one color. Uh, you can see how nicely that. Uh, trunk gap turned out after having to section in that small piece as opposed to the way it looked or like this other side that I haven't had a chance to get to yet and so um, I think it's worth the effort to go ahead and you know try to correct some of those things and maybe just a pet peeve of mine but I see a lot of uh, you know really nice looking cars that you know cruise ins and car shows and whatnot even for sale on eBay or whatever and you start looking at uh, you know the, the gaps and whatnot it just really kind of you know turned you sour on them or at least it does me that's just kind of a pet peeve of mine just having these these horrendous gaps I mean obviously an original uh, when it comes to these uh, these more pedigree cars I think you know the more original uh, GM sheet metal you can have on them is kind of the better but if you are going to take the time you know or going to go ahead and put this reproduction uh, crap on here unfortunately like I've done um, I think you know correcting the gaps and doing a, a little extra makes it a lot more uh, worthwhile. I mean, you can hide the fact that you know the metal's been changed just by doing uh, little things like that. 
But uh, anyhow, enough rambling. And I haven't had a video out in a really long time. I've just been uh, tied up. I got my kids out of school, and they're uh, you know taking up a lot of my time. And I just uh, haven't had the chance to get out here. But uh, when they go back to school in August, I'll hopefully try to get back out here a little bit more and get back going on this. And, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, get it going. Like I say, my goal is to get it going uh, so my uh, oldest can take her driver's test in this car. And she's 13, it'll be 14 in September. So I've, I've still got another, uh, you know, year and a half or so to, to worry about it. But uh, anyhow, as always, uh, thanks for watching. I've been enjoying uh, uh, your all's videos. And, uh, you know, have a good